told you I was earlier. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you cut off? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Zach, I promise if you lay in the, side, the same bed, I won't bite you, I promise. What do we do? How do we play this off? <laughs> I'm not saying if that that wasn't awesome. I'm saying. Okay, we won't say anything. Yeah. Okay, I cool. promise. Cool. Next on Paradise Hotel. Breakfast has been served. The girls gossip over <laughs> breakfast. Dude, it's huge. While the guys compare notes about the night before. So do any of the girls think yeah, they're yeah. married to you? Yeah. Well, at the rate you're going, you're going to have two kids and be divorced in two days. And next week, one of the guests will be forced to check out. Then, via satellite, our remaining guests will choose someone from across America to join them at Paradise Hotel. Like, I'm sorry, wifey. I was like, how cute. Wifey. I blew him a kiss, he blew him back. Wait, I was like, you are done. <laughs> you, go, you got what he wanted. I guess that's true. <laughs> God, I wonder if they're talking about like this oh, stuff you know over they there. Are. Of course they are. So, do any of the girls think yeah, they're yeah. married to you? Yeah. Does your girl think so? Paul got married in a day. That's yeah, that's not that's good. You are you are so in trouble. You you done messed up, son. They come walking into the room, <laughs> and I'm looking at you while you guys are walking in. She's like, this while you're walking, and I'm like, oh. At the rate you're going, you yeah, guys will be gonna you're gonna have two kids that. and be divorced in two days. <laughs> Like, I'm like, don't get like, mad at me if I date someone else later on. You, you know, we might have to. <laughs> Dude, we didn't get to finish that conversation downstairs. What happened last night at dinner? I don't mean to be conceited, but I'm like, I'm better than two years. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I am. You're totally unhappy. With Amy and you. Nothing, everything went fine. What is going on with you and Zach right now? Um, I don't know, what do you think? You're the one that's, I mean, does he say anything? He has, I don't know all the details of what happened last night in the room. You haven't told me anything. I had my eye on someone else, right? She picked me and I was just kind of like, who'd you have your eye on? I want either Kristen or Amanda, but the more you get to know Amanda, I don't know. She's my type. You doing all right, though? I promise myself I will not be any cause of drama. Yeah. Not. You didn't cause any drama. I didn't cause it, but I mean, it happened, and it was, you know, I happened to kind of be caught in the middle. Like, what happened know? last night when you guys closed the doors? Because I was trying to make sure you were right. Yeah, I was okay. I mean, it was cool. I mean, actually, when we when we got in the room and we shut the doors, like, he actually started to be funny and, like, talk to me and was actually being a cool guy. Did you guys sleep in the same or separate beds? <laughs> same. That's cool. <laughs> Cuddling? Did you get any cuddling action? <laughs> no. No? Just kicking it. Okay, we won't say anything. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Just kicked it live. Just kicked it. Cool. Um, yeah. I mean, I know. I like. <laughs> what about you, Tony? <laughs> Dude. What do you think? What's, what's your opinion of my situation? Okay. Really I mean, I think you guys definitely complement each other very well. It was crazy because I was telling somebody, well, who do you want to pick you? I was like, Tony. Like, Tony, Tony's the, 
you know, like big sister. It's more like a brother thing. Right, exactly. Yeah. Bye you could freaking like punch her in the stomach and she'd sock you right back in the chalk. That's what I'm you saying, know what man. I mean? like, <laughs> it's cool. Andy and I were talking about you. And he's like, yeah, she's, she's so funny. She's hilarious. Sarah has a hard task in front of her. She is the odd girl out, and she's got to convince someone to choose her. He said that you're funny. He's like, yeah, she's funny. She says funny stuff. Like, and didn't say that? Yeah, totally. I don't want it to be over in a week, though. Well. And I'm going to do my best to not let it happen. My game plan is to be a little bit more flirty and naughty. I want to make them imagine staying in a room with me and how great it would be. Does it bother you that Charlotte's going after her? If it was somebody that I was dating for like a long time, right, I'd so be like, you actually like shoom. Shoom. Way. Yeah, right. I feel bad telling you to go for Andon, but you have to do it. This is what it is. So it's not like I'm, I'm want you to get Tony kicked off. I, I know, want, but I want I'm Amy trying kicked to off. find right. the best possible well, route. Right, sweetie. We're not safe. We're not safe with anybody. If we want to stay here, we got to cover our own snakes. <laughs> we got to cover our own tails on this because yeah. now the game is being played. Yeah. You need to do what's good for you. And no matter what you do, someone's going to get hurt. Number one rule, you may be surrounded by beauty. There's some evil stuff that's going to be coming out soon. And I don't know who's going to be first. Darla makes her move, and tensions rise between the guests. Sorry. What the hell do you want to do? One of the six women is forced to check out and leave Paradise forever. Then, via satellite, our remaining guests will choose someone from across America to join them at Paradise Hotel. What else are you going to bring to Paradise? I definitely won't bring, like, the st st stuttering DJ. Oh!